Hey there guys, how you doing? MMPR Fan 84 here, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't been active as lately. Uh, my last video was on Christmas Day, but unfortunately I ended up with a certain virus that begins with C. And that's why I haven't been able to make a couple of videos, but I've recovered well and I'm back to doing the videos. So today is going to be, as you can see, the Magnet Defender from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. And again, guys, if you hear me coughing during the video, it's because I haven't quite recovered from a certain C word virus that I had, I had just after Christmas. So enjoy the video, guys. And you know what time it's for, guys? Cue the intro. So guys, let's get stuck in then. So of course I'm doing the Magnet Defender. Uh, I love Lost Galaxy. It's one of my favourite Power Ranger seasons. I absolutely love it to pieces. I love everything about it. It's such a strong season. Please check it out. I will put a link in the description for Power Rangers Official. They have every season on YouTube for free. So go check that up guys. I will upload, not upload, I will put a link in the description to the first episode of Lost Galaxy on Power Ranger Official and then you can take it from there. They have all the episodes on. Please check it out. So I'm here to review the Mind of the Fender. So I'll show you the box as usual. And it really is a shame guys we've lost these boxes, isn't it? The new boxes, I haven't seen them in person yet, but I'm not a fan of them at all. But I suppose it is what it is guys. They're just trying to be friendlier to the environment. But these boxes are no more unfortunately so I'm just going to enjoy them when I have them, and if it's going to affect my wall of art, I'm afraid, but anyway, here's the box, so again, you have the usual Power Rangers, Lightning Clicks and Brandon, the Lost Galaxy, Magnet Defender, of course, you've got the artwork, we're losing this artwork, it's, which is really sad, because this artwork was absolutely first class, you have the half side art with the Power Rangers uh, logo, of course, this is Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, you have the other side photo, and then you have their promotion shot, which they always looks better than the actual figure. So, with that done, guys, I will now move on and review the figure. So, here we have the Mind of the Fender. Of course, I will do his accessories first. So, of course, he does come with his saber. And it does come with a sheath as well. And it does go in. So, that's pretty cool. So, that's pretty cool. But I think you leave it out and there's like a wee thing there that clips on his belt. I'll do that later. You have his two hands, two extra hands. One is like a grab hand. If you can see that, another one is like another grab hand. And then this isn't the piece that he came with. He comes with a blue, but I unfortunately have misplaced it. So I had to substitute for another one. So this one's green. It's, it's not the Mind Defenders one, but I'm only using this as, as a substitute to show you what it is. And then you have his blaster. So that's his accessories. So the actual figure itself is just first class. Oh, it's one of the best. It's oh, amazing. Um, oh, just cracker. Look at the details, the black, the gold, the center, the helmet. Of course, the head does, f the head fully turns. I can't because of the oh okay I can't because of the cape. Uh, these move up and down for more trick for more movement in the arms, and uh, then of course it has the usual knee joints. So it does the usual knee joints, and the arms can rotate, but of course it has very limited movement thanks to the shoulder pads, and it's a plastic cape. Now I know there's an argument out there with uh, plastic capes or cloth capes. Uh, one of my viewers, Brandon Argon, Pegger B, is not a big fan of the plastic capes. He loves the cloth capes. But I suppose that's a debate for another day, Brandon. <laughs> but I don't mind. I think this is a good sturdy cape. Um, I'm not really bothered whether it's a cloth cape or a plastic cape. But I do think this looks good. 
So I'll just give it a full 360 and there you go. And you better stand. We're going to lock the stand up for me, is he? There you go, you stand. So I've got the accessories. Of course, uh, the Defender Torso there in the background. I always like to have my swords in the background to give you guys a bit more um, background on my videos. So let me see. So I will put my defender in one of my favorite poses. This is what I like him to be like. Let's see, try not to do this off camera. Let's see, let me take a saber. It's such a cool figure. Now you can use the cape to stand it up and balance it, which isn't too bad. And then there's a hole here in this belt, you see it? Then you just attach the sheath or scar, whatever you want to call it, to it. There you go. And then you just close it like that. And then, or if you really want to, you can pose them with the sword and the gun. Now, obviously, in the show, it wouldn't work because obviously the gun and the, the gun. The blaster and the sword are obviously the same thing, but since it's a toy and it's your toy, you can do what you like, so you can sort of just put the hand on like that. Right, like that, and then you can just have him have a sword in the air and his gun like that. I might make him a bit top heavy though. Okay, that just sort of works. Give you a better close up of that, guys. There you go. Such a bright figure. Imagine the Fender, because he was Wave 1, he might be a little bit hard to get now. Or was he Wave 1? No, I'm getting confused with Shadow Ranger. No, the Shadow Ranger was figure with Wave 1. Uh, he was one of the early waves, so he's really hard to get now. So my best bet would be eBay. Uh, so it would... Um, my best bet would be eBay, but definitely get this figure, 10 out of 10. Uh, again, thank you Gary, my cousin, for about, he bought me this for Christmas with Shadow Ranger, which is from SVD. Uh, I'll just show them together, because I got them together, so and they, 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 look, they look so good together. Now, now I'm before you'll see SVD, because I do my figures in order, as I said, when it Lost Galaxy. So, uh, they just look so good together. I got these two the same day, Christmas, my cousin Gary bought them for Christmas a couple of years ago, so cheers, dude. Uh, once again for uh, buying these figures for me, I mean I really do appreciate it dude. You'll always get a shout out from me because you really help my YouTube channel dude, you really do. So, Man the Defender and, 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 the SP, and the SP Shadow Ranger. You will see him guys, eventually. So, say goodbye, baby. Right, hey. So I don't have all the Lost Galaxy figures yet, but I do have, as you know, Leo, which you see now I reviewed him. And of course, Kai. So that is my Lost Galaxy figures at the minute. Um, at the minute we do have all, at the minute we have green, yellow, red, blue and Mind of the Fender. Uh, green will be in the old style box which is good. Yellow isn't, uh, but it's one of them things guys. Um, so I've yet to get, I will be getting green this year hopefully. As I say, I'm getting married in April, so money's tight at the minute. So hopefully after I get married in April, I will be able to afford a bit more negative figures. But for the meantime, this, this finishes my Lost Galaxy videos. So um, for the meantime, until I get green and yellow, and then obviously pink is coming along. I've seen a picture of... No, I, we are getting yellow. I, we are getting pink. That's right, i just seen it. The head sculpt, mm, is a bit dodgy. I've seen it there. I think I prefer without the glasses, to be honest, but... Uh, I don't know what you're doing Hasbro with these head sculpts, they need to improve. Uh, just my only downside about the Magnum Defender is they didn't give us Mike's head. Now I know obviously the Magnum Defender was a warrior, um, a sort of anti-hero warrior, you know, Scorpius killed his son uh, and he was on pure revenge. So he was like anti-hero, he was good, but he was fallen and revenge uh, entered his heart. So if you've watched Lost Galaxy, Mike 
fell into the crevice and the man in the fender um stole his life force and that's uh, so my, my Mike's spirit was inside my inner fender and um and basically I'll say no more I don't want to spoil it for you guys go and watch it on YouTube um absolutely fantastic uh so but then eventually Mike does become the man in the fender uh but so I wish they had to give us the Mike's head sculpt at least but it's just one of them things I'm afraid but guys this is going to conclude my video guys I really hope you enjoyed this um I have made a uh, outro video so uh, obviously guys you, you've seen my intro video but I've now made an intro video it's of Lord Zed and the Throne so please enjoy it guys so in closing I will say bye bye uh, again subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment below and let me know and then and let me know what you think of my uh, closing let, let, let me know what I think let, let me know what you think of my outro uh, it's Lord Zed's been in the chair so um, I hope you enjoy it guys and thanks for watching I'll see you around bye